Hi, my name is Sloan and welcome to this week's Fit in 15 Abs and Core. Here is drill number one. I'm going to show you from the side. So you're going to take it down into a plank and there's two key points here. I want you to have nice wide feet. It provides more stability and I want your shoulders stacked over your wrist. So you're like this. You're not like this. It's too much pressure to maintain that for a minute, okay? So you're here. You're going to really press through the palms. Work your back muscles, and as you press, it's going to be opposite. So you take your hand to your shin, and then you lower yourself back to the plank, hold and squeeze, switch sides, and come back to the plank. So one minute, this is your one minute, a modification. If you are not comfortable lifting anything off the ground, just downward dog, really press, hit your plank, downward dog, hit your plank. That would be the modification. All right, drill number two. You're gonna use your mat on this one only as a guide and a marker. So you're nice and low, bend your knees. You're gonna reach up and give me your best high knee, come back down, and then only one leg is gonna kick back. Come back to center, do your other knee. So the leg that goes up is the leg that kicks back. Okay, so you're just gonna keep alternating. Everybody can do this drill. Everybody, everybody, okay? So you're just gonna alternate from side to side on that one. Drill number three. Really this whole month, it's about channeling your inner frog because everything is down really, really low. You gotta bend those knees, get low to the ground, all right? So if you have your weight in your heels where it's supposed to be, you should feel zero, zero impact in your knees. All right, so you're down here nice and low. I'm calling this the three-point pike, and here it goes. So your hands are here, so you count, you're going to just count. One, move them out. Two, and everything moves. My shoulders keep moving over my wrist. Three, after I hit my third point, I pop up, I do a push-up. Right here, I'm going to bend my knees and count back. Three, two, and then I should be back in my starting position. So one more time. One, two, three, hit your pike. Drop your forehead to the floor as much as you can, even if it's just a little bitty one. And then start bending your knees. Three, two, back to your original position. All right, so we've got five total sets of those three drills.